Hey everyone, Jose of your fish keeping. This is a pretty good infestation of the tritus worm. What are they? How do we deal with them? Let's talk about it. Detritus by definition is um, organic matter, whether it's uh, fish waste, food, decomposing uh, bodies, or any other organic matter like from plants. Detritus worm by definition is any worm that can that technically live and feed off detritus. They are generally not harmful, although some detritus worm can be parasitic, but not the common ones, these little white ones, wiggly and sometimes a little bit on the brownie side. They seem to come out of nowhere in my case. Um, they can come to you in sub a substrate soil that you may use, come in with new, new plants to, to the aquarium. Uh, virtually all aquariums have them. Uh, they can be just wiggly white worms, as I said before. They can feed off uh, sediments, algae, biofilm in your aquarium. As they are often grown for food for fish. They are, will not harm your fish. They are not parasitic again, as I said. But um, as it is in this case, whether you do have an infestation, what do we do to control them? Um, I tested uh, several methods. Um, the best way and the safest way is to add fish that could actually consume them. I added uh, to this particular tank. I went away on vacation. I have six tanks that I use for quarantine and for breeding purposes and so on so i when i came back from vacation all these six tanks had uh, detritus uh, none of these fish had any type of organic matter in it uh, all the fish have been removed i had changed the water completely and just let them let them active and running uh, this other 20 gallon tank here uh previously i was uh quarantining two large discus and then I had a fairly good uh, infestation of the stridus as you see there. Uh, this not as bad as the one that had the most here, another 20 gallon shown previously. I added that once the discus were removed and put in the main display tank, I put uh, one beta, some rosy, I'm sorry, uh, cherry barbs, uh, rummy nose, some gouramis there and a good variety of smaller fish and I can tell you that within and also some rasboras you saw coming in there there were also two angelicus loaches in there um, so all of them very actively consumed all of the detritus worm pretty much in 24 hours they were mostly gone very little was left so the best way really to deal with them is just to have fish that would consume them so there was a fair amount of fish in this 20 gallon so they did uh, really did a number of them i have never had an issue in the large uh, display tanks um there are other smaller fish that certainly will consume them now this is still um uh, i think at the end of 24 hours or 12 hours there was still some stuff lying around but they were still uh, actively uh, working on them by the second day, there were actually no detritus worms at all. If there was an occasional one that may show up or come out of the filters, they certainly will be picked up by the fish. As you can see, the tank now looks very clear. And uh, again, as I said, it is absolutely the, uh, the best way to deal with them. I have really never had an issue with detritus worms in the uh, four larger display tanks because all the other fish that are there, they certainly, any ones that uh, will be found they would be picked off. So the tritus worm add fish that would consume them uh, the best way. In my tanks, I don't like anything that I didn't purposely put in there, including uh, some snails. Some people like them, but again, it's your tanks. You do what you like and how you like them. Now, this uh, out of the six tanks that I showed you previously, three 10 gallon tanks at the top, two 20s at the bottom and then one five and a half gallon and i use these again as i said for any breeding projects uh quarantining or treatment of sick fish 
since I don't have any type of uh, living animals here other than the worms. Um, and I wanted to just return them to the previous state that they were in. I, again, there was no food source for them, nothing, but then they just multiply like crazy. Um, I decided to try uh, four different uh, worming agents uh, that I have on hand, which are, you know, the following listed. In the effort not to make this uh, video super long, I did a second part to it where I just deal with the um, with the warmers for separate months. Uh, interesting results. Uh, please watch part two, uh, which uh, it will be available uh, both at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not done so, please subscribe, share, like, and press the notification bell. Thank you for your support and visiting our channel.